Welcome to this G.I. Joe toy review, or not toy G.I. Joe, but Transformers toy review. Um, this week we are doing a new month for December. We are doing the Seekers month. As you can see, the Seekers month. Um, today is Hot Link with his Target Master Buddies, Heat Wave and Heartburn. And I got each one of them, both one in robot mode and one in vehicle mode, or not vehicle mode, but gun mode. So let's take a look at the gun mode version. This is either heat wave or heartburn, I'm not sure which. But this is what they look like in gun mode. And there's no, really no articulation for gun mode. And as for articulation for robot mode. Of course, they, their arms are on a ball joint, so you get a little wriggly waggly and all the way around, good range of motion. Their legs are also on a ball joint, so you get a lot of forward, backward, sideways motions. Praise one. But that's it for the little Target Masters. Just take a look at our hot link video this week. As you can see, he's the only Transformer that I actually own currently with the Kuplowies or his uh, laser, rock, laser rockets. And he is a, this is his Cybertronian jet mode. And uh, as you can tell, this is what all Seekers look like when they were in Cybertron before they came to Earth. Uh, but I like Hot Links good with black with purple accents to it and... You know, I like this Cybertronian jet. I think it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, it's very cubicle or very triangular. You know, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at him in robot mode. So here's Hot Link in robot, Cybertronian robot mode. Um, as you can see, he's got his little purple highlight accent and whatnot. And uh, I think this is a really cool, um, cool figure. He does have the star screen mold, and as you can tell, I got both of his target masters in his hands. Um, now his range of motion is pretty good in his arms. You know, he does have good bending at the elbows, good uh, up and down movement in his in his arms. Uh, he does have good range of motion in his legs. But he's spread out, go forward, go backwards. You know, he's got a good motion, range of motion with this guy. Um, I kind of like him. I like the Seekers. Um, I kind of like the look of the Cybertron and Jazz, how they looked on the Cybertron. But uh, he's a really, really awesome figure. Um, Hot Links, I don't know too much about him. He's kind of one of the newer models, newer molds. Um, from the Seeds uh, Cyber War for Cybertron Trilogy that Netflix has been doing. You know, he's a very cool figure. You know, I mainly got him because he's a Seeker, and I kind of like the Seekers. So I kind of want to build a, uh, a team of Seekers. Which, as you can tell through this month, I'm actually doing. Because <coughs> every, every transform I'm doing this month, it's all... Seekers, uh, you know, Hot Link and Ion Storm, uh, Acid Storm, Nova Storm, they're all Seekers. You know, fancy I'm going to get like the original Seekers and Sky Warp and Thundercracker and Starscream and all them, and then get Ramjet and all the rest of the Seekers eventually in time. But that's that's it for uh. Hot link. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this video. Tune in next week as we do as we uh, take a look at Seeker Asset Storm. So we'll take and we we'll say all have the same uh, um art mode as well as the same robot mode. But the next three do not have the Target Master uh, technology. So tune in next week as we do Ion Storm and continue our Seekers Month. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one.